Hello. This Hello. Is, this is Emily Lafoy. Yes. Who plays the Raven in yep. the, the House of Echo, and it's day four. Day four. Day We're four. going strong. We've only got like around under twenty days left. How did last night go? Yeah, it went well. It was nice doing it in the actual performance space, and we've only got. Yeah. Well, if, if, it felt weird because we haven't actually performed there before, but if I know I've done it once, yeah. it'll be a lot easier for the yeah. other ones, so yeah. it's not bad. Yeah, I think like the ice has been broken now. Yeah. And then we're just like, okay. Now we're ready to take Edinburgh by storm. We're ready. <laughs> we're ready. Mm. Tell us about your role as the Raven. Yeah, I mean, it's tough because... <laughs> <laughs> I've had to do a lot of um, background research for it. Um, and I think that's kind of what I've always tried to, to do with my roles, is really just trying yeah. to get into the, like, get into the meatiness of the role. Mm. Um, so I started by watching quite a lot of David Attenborough um, documentaries. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. Mm. I've also watched the TV show Raven as well. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, do you guys want to say something funny? Anything funny you want to tell me? I've got some hooligans back there who are just disturbing me. <laughs> um, oh. Yes, yeah, so I watched quite a lot of Raven. Um, <laughs> I also sat in the garden quite a lot and just watched Ravens as well. Um, sort of trying to be them, yeah. you know, trying to copy them. I think the hardest part has been creating a backstory because Ravens are quite quiet, they don't yeah, often sure. talk to me. So I created quite a few backstories. Yeah. Um, my favourite one was I thought maybe the Raven sort of can fly and then suddenly breaks a wing. Yeah, maybe it gets sure. caught in like a tree. Yeah. Yeah, classic um, tragedy. Classic know. tragedy, and then it goes to A and E, so it can't fix its wing. But then somehow, like it meets another raven, it falls in love, and, and its wing just mends. Yeah, and that for me was a really important yeah. through line. Yes, yeah, so, the very important yeah. landmark in your development. Landmark of the character. character yeah. yeah. Sometimes I worry that I'm too good. Yeah. Um, and that people actually think I'm a raven, and and, and that I think is is where I've got to be careful because I can't fool the audience too much. No. No. Um, no. I also don't want to steal the show either because that's unfair. I think. Yeah, no, I think. Yeah. I think you know because the raven, the raven is probably the most. Well I mean, it is the most well known. Yeah. yeah, it's the most important character in the whole show. I mean, it, it should really just be me, but. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. Budget. Budget. Yeah. Budget. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm gonna ask for the show again next year if I can actually fly in real life because I yeah. think that's a little bit ridiculous that I'm not got a flying machine. <laughs> it should be some kind of trapeze at least. So you act opposite. Uh, yeah, he's a bit of a nightmare to be honest to work with actually. Yeah. Um, he's a diva, he can't sing, oh, what was that a tune? He can't really dance, he's got no stage presence. Yeah, I would absolutely um, agree with all of I mean, that. really, he, he just shouldn't be on stage. No. Um, that's where I think they asked me to come in and just try and fix it, really. Yeah. Um, yeah, sure. Like, she's like, we need someone to need the show. Someone that can actually just, just be like, a raven. Yeah, and just kind of take control of the situation. That is being completely decimated Fix by it. You know, like it's a rubbish performance. Yeah. So the idea is that mm. the poem The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe yeah. is about um, is about well, what is it? What is your the interpretation? The Raven, I think it just like represents grief. Um, yeah. so it's sort of this haunting bird that, that David, the student, he can't get rid of and he always knows it's there. Yeah, sure. Um, which is why, like I said, you know, background research is really important because you've got to really be a raven. Yeah. You can't just be a girl in a black dress. Yeah. It's got to be the actual bird. Um, I'm hoping after this I'll be able to go on things like bird watch. Um, yeah. You know, spring watch. Just, spring watch, that's what I meant. Yeah. Spring watch is a good show. <laughs> um, I'm going to get some good reviews. And then become a star. Yeah. Mm, that's it, really. Yeah. Five mm. star star. Five star star. Uh, no, star, I know, star, yeah, I will be famous, but it's, it'll take a while, but I'll get there. Yeah, somebody's got the same. Somebody's got the same. So, do you get, you know, ostracised from the real ravens in real life? Do they? Sorry, what was that word you used? Ostracised. So that means. It's, um. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to learn a new word. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, ostracised is like, it's like when, um. Uh, like, are you segregated at all by No, because, um, it's funny actually, a bunch of ravens. Um, they invited me to a flat party the other day. Oh, okay, yeah. But I couldn't oh, go because I was doing the show. Um, but I'm going to go next week instead and just try and bond with them. But I feel like I've been really accepted. Um, I'm a lot taller than them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, like you, you do embody their like general. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Spirit, um, definitely. And I think I've been accepted. Yeah. You know? And that's, that's a lovely feeling. It's, um, it, it's warming. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's like. A warm, fuzzy, fuzzy feeling, fuzzy right feeling. in like the front of your, in the front of like your beak. Mm. Yeah. 
What about you? What about you? What about me? Have you? Do you embody the violin? I've got yeah. those like I've got what those poles. What about research? What have you done? A lot of that <laughs> research. Yeah, do I mean. Do you talk to violins? Yeah, often. You often. Know, because you know that it says that it makes them, yeah, grow, it makes faster, them you know? grow faster. Yeah, makes them go faster. So, um, could you do you know give us a kind of demonstration of what you feel like? The, yeah. The physical. The first thing to do like really is kind of just close your eyes. Do you want to do it with me? Yeah. Okay. Um, close your eyes and then just sort of start nodding your head forward a little bit. <laughs> Like, kind of quite twitchy. Mm -hmm. And then I find like arm movements is kind of like some jolts, you know? <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Like, it's like, boom, you know? Yeah, I feel like, because I feel like you're the expert. Ravens aren't all floaty woaty, that's no. a word. Uh, they're more, you know? know. So they've got exactly. like, they're on it. So they're ready, they're ready yeah. to kill Any worms. Yeah. And a couple of, like, a couple of like sounds yeah. with the head and the arms, that's, that's what I do. Yeah. So <laughs> ravens love Sudoku. Um, and actually one way that I really got into character was doing Sudoku with the Ravens. Mm. Um, the very intellectual. Very intellectual. My favourite Sudoku is number um, one to five, six. It's a real challenge. Mm. Have a little look there. So there's a good well placed eight one, there. One eight there, yeah. That's, yeah. I mean like, I guess um, you know, a form of team building, you know, the traditional yeah. kind of like family rite of passage is to do Sudoku to together. Yeah. 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 Thank you for being here. I mean, it's fine. I'm quite busy, so probably don't bother me again with yeah. this. But, um, yeah, no, um, yeah. Because I've got to train with the Ravens. But, um, yeah, you're doing, you know, some kind of uh, community work. Community work. The Ravens. Yeah. You mean you went, you did go out and find yourself for a month in New York? Yeah. yeah. You know a lot about me, actually. Though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Thanks. But you don't know. I know a lot that you yeah, yeah, they're not research. I mean, if you want to be a Raven, I'm happy to, to, to um, teach you. But yeah. It's a lot of. Yeah, you need you need to be in your city. You need to really want it. Just want it. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace out, guys. Stay ready. Never more. I think I just pulled the muscle.